Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I have a special video on some new Rodeal products. I would say, I don't know, is this my favorite product? The bronze drops were what really just shook me, and they are discontinued. But this is something, this is probably my second one, and I am nearing the end of this one. Luckily, they sent me a new one. This is the Dragon's Blood Sculpting Gel Hydrate and Tone. It has collagenier, volufilene, and I cannot pronounce the last one, but simply put, it is a great product before your makeup, kind of like a serum, a moisturizer, hyaluronic acid. It tightens and firms. It is one of their best products. It has been around for 10 years, and I actually use this. I think I've already told you this. I use this with my new face, both of the microcurrent devices. And the first time I used it, I did not use enough. But if you will use enough, you will not, it's just as good as any conductor gel. And what I like about it is, it's kind of like something I already know that my skin likes, and I already know that makeup goes over it well. So to me, it just makes sense. And Dragon's Blood comforts and refreshes through skin hydration. Collagenier, known for the appearance of skin firmness. Bayouphiline, it's very small, is a plant-based ingredient known for improving the elasticity in the skin. Comifraline, a resin extract that is known to help plump and tone the complexion. Gently massage onto a clean face and neck and allow to absorb thoroughly. For best results, use morning and night. I love it. It smells good. I love this part of it where you just, I'll show you. I think mine's almost out, yeah. But normally you get a good full pump. It smells so good and it goes right in. It's a gel, but a creamy gel. It's not too, it's not sticky at all. And it just leaves your skin feeling like fresh and plump. That is probably my favorite skincare and the Dragon's Blood eye patches. I love those. Remember when we did a collaboration and I had the eye patches in the kit. Okay, they also sent me this brush that I used in the tutorial, this Baby Teddy brush. I love it. It is perfect for me because I like to powder in these spots. Pink Diamond Retinol Gel, Lift and Illuminate. Retinol, Hyaluronic Acid, Redensifying Peptide Complex. This is a great way, if you have not started with a Retin-A, this is a great way to get started. It's the same application type jar, so you can just do one pump and, you know, it's, I don't know, I don't know why I like this so much. It's just so easy. You guys know about Retinol. That's Retinol, you have to use it. You just have to. Retinol, a good exfoliant, vitamin C, and just, you know, finding a good cleanser and all of those things that agree with your skin. And then these, the resurfacing pads, Lift and Illuminate. This is, I think this is a great product because the pads just make it easy. Resurface, replenish, and even skin tone by reducing the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and pigmentation. Sleep over the skin nightly to transform skin while you sleep. The combined actives revitalize the skin for visibly smooth, lifted, and illuminated complexion. Retinol is known to increase skin's elasticity, hyaluronic acid plumps, and diamond powder diminishes imperfections, infuses skin with a lip from within glow. So this would be a great way if you wanted to just instead of having to put on a cream, be able to use the, I think I just saw, I just saw Molly Sims, I believe, on their website, and she uses two of these before she does her makeup. It all smells so good. It just, it's one of those things that makes you feel pretty. You know, when you use something like this and it just smells so good, looks so pretty sitting on your counter. The Vitamin C Papaya Enzyme Scrub. Brighten and renew hyaluronic acid, exfoliating fruit enzymes, and jojoba beads. So this is a good scrub, like after, especially if you're using a retinol, you will need something to lift. The retinol kind of breaks up, or it doesn't break up, it makes your skin kind of regenerate. You need something to kind of break up the dead skin cells, and the papaya and fruit enzymes will do that, and then a little bit of scrubby in here will help that come off and give you that smoother complexion that is so much better 
for makeup application. A long time ago, I got the banana low lighter. I've got this in powder too. I've actually got the peach and the banana low lighter in the powder form. This is the liquid form. I had the banana. They sent me the peach and I love it. So I'm gonna use this in the video too. This is the glass powder, a pour, blurring type powder to help set. What I really love about this is when you use it, even when it sets, it, if you have been using something to give you luminosity to your skin, it doesn't take that away. It still lets you, matter of fact, I've put it on. I, I did this, the loose powder on this side, and then they sent me the pressed, and I used it on this side. So you can still see that I've still got that glow, but it's not, Look, doesn't look like it's just gonna slip right off my face. If you would like to see how I achieve this look, stay tuned and I will be right back. The first thing I'm gonna use is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in number five. So I do one pump, which that's a pretty big pump. And I do one half of the face at a time. And just remember when you go to do the other half, you're gonna have some left on here, so it'll go a little bit further. And I do go over my eyelids, and then I, I don't put foundation on my neck, but I drag it down my neck. I might not pump it all the way down, because that's a pretty big pump. Okay, let me brought this mirror out here today. Today I'm gonna to use my good old Chanel Universal in the deep color. consider this like part of my foundation it's almost like the other especially with this particular shade you know I need this to make that shade yummy like that and glowy Here, let me zoom you in just a little bit more here. Before I do the blush drops, I want to try, I just got the, see I've had the Banana Low Lighter, which is a lighter, brighter shade, but I just got the Peach, and that is what I saw Maria using on Instagram. So here is the difference. So you can see this is not gonna be quite as bright and it's not even that I don't want the brightening, it's just I think it's a little too pale for my skin tone. So I'm gonna use the peach to kind of, because it really shears out, I'm gonna use it, I maybe should have worn a darker foundation. But anyway, I don't want you to see how easy it shears out. I have my rhodial brushes. Let me try the powder precision brush. This is the one I used to love with the bronze drops. Because I kind of want to brighten the center of my face. What I love about all of her products is even when you set them, the glow still comes through. See how evenly that blended in? Oh my goodness, so easy. Okay, yay, that was a better match for me. But if you were more fair than I am, the banana low lighter would be a good one for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some lips. We're gonna use my lip liner. I do have the clear gloss on. And 
then my lipstick. And these, in a minute, you'll see, they blend together because I have that gloss on. If I didn't want them to blend, I would have taken the gloss off. Okay, now let's do a little eye base. This is the Naked Birkin. And you'll see why I'm not, I haven't done the blush yet in a minute. underneath I like to put a little extra on the outer corner product so this is the Anastasia medium brown and I generally use the lightest side And then sometimes I will go into the dark to kind of swoop this out and do the tail. Like that, so the lightest side. I don't do a lot of filling in. I am just kind of completing the end of the brow and then just neaten it up a little bit. As you can see, I'm in my kitchen and I'm hoping these lights, I have a feeling they're doing me dirty. I wonder if I should shut the ones over me off. I oh, will, we've come this far. I will take some pictures in the natural daylight too. Okay, so now let's do the blush. I have the blush drops in Sunset Kiss and Frosted Pink. And let me swatch both of them for you. The Sunset Kiss is more of a kind of a coppery, warmer tone. I like the pink ones. They look like they're gonna be like shocking pink, but they blend out really pretty. That, and so I'm going to, this is how I, I've always done it, and I watched her put it, we use that same brush, on her eyes and lips the other day. But they don't remove your makeup. And I think they're so pretty. I don't even need a highlighter. Okay, so I'm going to maybe put a little bit on my brush and maybe... Okay, that's not gonna be enough. gives you that warm, blushy tone through your eyes. That is so pretty. Oh, and then she did some on the lips, which I've already got this on, but we're gonna try it anyway. That's pretty. So I love these, and I think they're very brightening but not over the top. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Valentino liner. First, I like the pencil side and I like to just kind of scrub it in my lashes like that. And then I do use that to make a wing sometimes, but I have better luck just go ahead and using this side and connecting it. Like that. Yeah. 
I've got a fresh little tube of Chanel <laughs> mascara. Forgot how much I liked this. So I got a sample the other day. I've got the glass powder, which is a loose setting powder, but what's great about it is it blurs your pores, but it doesn't take the glow away. They also sent me the new glass powder, pressed pore blurring powder. So I thought we would try one on one side and one on the other. It is very, very luxe and nice. Okay, yikes. Okay, so this is the loose. I just wanna put the tiniest little bit, not even that much, like a little bit in here. And then I'm gonna take a, oh, they sent me a new brush. This little, I believe it's called, I've been using it. It's called the Baby Teddy Brush. And put some in your brush. And I like it because it's not too big. You can really get precision. So let's do this side of the face with the loose. I have to powder my nose because sunglasses will remove my makeup instantly. And then, let's see, for pores, let's do right here. And I wanna, I wanna go over my whole cheek because I want you to see how it still is luminous through this powder. I always find that kinda incredible. Okay, so that is I mean, I hope you can see how much that helped. My pores are like more in here and right there. Okay, so that's the side with the loose powder and I've barely had to use any and I do love this brush. Okay, this is the pressed glass powder and We're gonna do the same thing. Okay, down the side of the nose. Let's see what happens if we just powder my brow bone. So pretty. Let's go ahead and put on false lashes because I know they always make me feel better. Put them right to where my eye starts turning down and give myself a little lift. And I do use uh, Duo Dark, the original. So you may be able to see the glue a little bit, but it will dry. So you can see. It makes a big difference. I love lashes. I love it all. Okay. Second day hair. And I have on a Maria inspired outfit. She wears a lot of black like I do. And anytime I want some good inspiration, I can always go on her Instagram and find a cool outfit. So I am wearing, let me show you shoes she has most of her shoes like this i think are amina Mwadi, but she has some that are similar like this and then she wears the bottegas a lot and she wears the breton stripe sweaters and let me let me take off my uggs here and here let me turn you where you can see me better hold on it's a very maria outfit chanel 19 bag black pants heels with the Breton stripes. And then a lot of times she wears a big puffer and stuff too, but I don't, I do have a big black puffer, but I gave it to Brooke to wear when it was cold. So this is my look today. Thanks again to Rodeal for sponsoring this video. Thank you to Maria for creating these great products and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.